how we can check IR receiver and transmitter with multimeter. So I have one IR infrared receiver here and another one is infrared transmitter. So this is just look like LED, but this is not LED. This is uh, infrared transmitter and infrared receiver. So we have to use a multimeter, select to the dial mode. For transmitter, we have to select to the dial mode. So any multimeter, we're going to use digital multimeter, but we have to select to diode diode mode if to negative we must have diode voltage drop so 1.011 voltage drop so this is like the diode drop if you test like this you won't see any light the light will not come out we cannot see any light from here because of this is not LED this is infrared transmitter if you reverse no diode voltage drop so just like the diode if you reverse this is the reverse block so forward voltage we have diode voltage drop so this is in good condition of the trans uh, infrared transmitter if we check to infrared receiver this the longer pin is positive as well the shorter pin is negative so just like transmitter if you test you won't get any voltage drop if you reverse you will not get any voltage drop uh, the working method is a different so even though there is positive pin and negative pin we cannot use we cannot check uh, with dial voltage drop this will be uh, generated by the signal so when the signal when the transmitter is transmit the signal then the receiver will receive the signal by the time they will produce the output so we cannot use light transmitter testing we have to select to the ohms which is like for the resistor mode so I'm selecting to the ohms So now, once I use the red positive here, black negative negative here, I have a nine point sorry, nine point nine five mega ohm. If I reverse, I didn't get any value. So we shouldn't get any value. We shouldn't have any output. Okay, in this position, now we have. A zero in multimeter so by the time you can just take any of uh, remote control then you transmit so once the signal is detect here is the value will change to multimeter so any of a remote control you can just use right, like the TV remote control or you can use ear con remote control or any uh, infrared remote control then you point to the receiver here you point to the receiver and you press the button the value should change to the multimeter so the ohm will change by the time the signal is generated so the normal stretch is zero which means the open circuit once the signal transmit the idea is the ohm so this is how to check the infrared transmitter and infrared receiver. So I hope you like this video and thank you for watching.